More than 150 black players went to Mexico from 1937 to 1946, looking for better salaries and a more welcoming racial climate. These players thrilled Mexican crowds, including Josh Gibson, Roy Campanella, Ray Dandridge, James Cool Papa Bell, and Monty Irving. Eventually, the Mexican League cast a wider net of players, recruiting them from other races, including Latino players. Mexican Americans also returned to Mexico to play ball. Facing racial discrimination in the United States, they looked for opportunities in Mexico, including Alonso Orozco and David Salazar, who were best friends who played for the semi-professional baseball team named after their sponsor, the El Paso Shoe Store from Los Angeles. These players went to Mexico to play in the Mexican leagues. After the El Paso Shoe Store team won three consecutive championships, they changed their name to Mexico El Paso and took part in a barnstorming tour throughout the Southwest, including Mexico City. Here's a photograph of their tournament in Mexico City's Delta Park. These players ultimately played for the Mexican Baseball League and went on to win championships and enter the professional baseball leagues. The Aztecas team from Mexico City recruited Mexican Americans, including the Orozcos and the Zalazars, and they played throughout the U.S., defeating U.S. professional teams. Many Mexican Americans looked forward for the opportunity to return to Mexico and earn extra money and renew their family ties and culture. Ernesto Zalazar played for the Aztecas for several seasons and enjoyed his time in Mexico City where he could earn a better salary, play in larger stadiums, and also play alongside his uncle, who would take him out on weekend excursions to visit family and friends. Another Mexican-American ball player was Robert Lakes Lagunas, who played for the Mexican Baseball League. At a young age, he would play on both sides of the border and continue to play for the Texas League until he faced racial hostility on the playing field after that, he went to Mexico, where he felt a much more welcoming racial climate. Ultimately, he managed uh, the baseball club from Chihuahua, Mexico, and would organize exhibition games on both sides of the border.